Hi, welcome back to the channel. In the last video we have seen a uh, very short uh, short on uh, spirulina, spirulina. Today we are going to see the detailed version of uh, spirulina and its benefit, how it came to being, how people came to know about it. I love that. Before that, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do that so that you don't miss out on uh, future videos. Um, so coming back, coming back to the channel. Uh, Coming back to this uh, today's topic, uh, benefits of spirulina, how it came to be, how people came to know about it and uh, why people call it, uh, why World Health Organization called it superfood way back in 1975, right? So why they call it uh, superfood and what it has and uh, what are the health benefits that it brings if one consumes on a regular basis. Okay, so consumption. It has to be not continuous basis. Every, after every three months of consumption, a week or 10 days uh, gap has to be given, then continue. It is not a medicine. It is a supplement, food supplement. So since we are not getting uh, all the nutrients required for the body through food these days, there's a need for a consumption of first good supplement, quality supplements to supply the nutrients that are required for the body so that it can uh, work at optimum levels and so that we can uh, have a good health, sound health. Coming back. So when NASA was uh, looking for some food which can be given to their astronauts going into space uh, so that they feel uh, full and uh, there's no elimination problem. You all know, we all know that uh, there's elimination problem in the space. So they need to consume the food at the same time, there should not be elimination, you know, like uh, once in three days or once in four days only, there should be need for elimination. So they were finding such food. So they came across a tribal group in the US who were actually bringing this uh, spirulina from the sea and offering it as a naivagium to their deity every day and they're consuming it. They, when they looked at their body, they were strongly built and uh, and their health is very sound. They never feel ill. They never feel sick, right? So when they actually observed this, uh, that what was offered to their deity, it looked like you know, uh, spirals, spiral, spiral. It has a spiral structure. That's why they named it as a spiral. Limb. So it came into being uh, since then and it became very popular because uh, World Health Organization called it a superfood cons consisting of uh, most of the nutrients required for the body way back in 1975. So let's look at, uh, uh, let's see, it has, uh, it like if you look at the constituents and uh, what it has, what it contains, it contains uh, 10 times uh, more beta carotene than carrots. It has about 55 to 70 percent of protein, the highest amount of protein that is available in any source on the planet Earth. Right? It has also GLA, gamma-linolenic acid. It's the rarest uh, uh, amino acid which is available in uh, sp spirulina. Right? It has uh, um, White you know, like essential vitamins like B, C, and E. It has uh, minerals like uh, chromium, copper, zinc, iron, all of this. So, what are the health benefits it brings? Very useful in uh, like uh, preventing acne. The youngsters uh, suffer from acne problem, and uh, so it can prevent that because it actually lowers uh, bad cholesterol and. Uh, it also lowers uh, triglycerides. Uh, the second benefit uh, that one gets is uh, it actually like uh, uh, when when he is going through anxiety or stress, if uh, if they consume such people consume uh, uh, spirulina, they you know, like uh, they they feel uh, relieved from the stress, anxiety, right? It also prevents a lot of allergy. It actually, uh, for breastfeeding mother, woman, this is the best uh, food that can be given. One feels energetic when consumed. The, uh, it also prevents the problems like eczema and uh, psoriasis, for which there's no treatment, right? Psoriasis, when in case of psoriasis, 
if people from uh, suffer from psoriasis, what they can do? Uh, they remove uh, they remove the powder, remove the powder from the capsule and uh, apply like you know, just uh, put it into coconut oil and apply on the area which is affected by psoriasis. They get a lot of relief from that. We practically tried it uh, on the people who are suffering from psoriasis. They got a lot of relief and uh, see like after applying that uh, uh, as external uh, on the external uh, place where uh, there's a psoriasis uh, and they have to stand in the sun for about five to ten minutes which actually gives a lot of relief to these people people who are suffering from uh, psoriasis it is good for memory it actually boosts memory both in uh, uh, children and also elders adults so it can be taken and it also prevents a lot of cancers right so these days the uh, cancer rate is very high and uh, if consumed up to three capsules a day can prevent uh, cancer many cancers right and it also helps in uh, people who are suffering from anemia so most of uh, ladies uh, who have menstrual cycle every month they suffer from uh, anemic anemic conditions if they consume right because it has uh, both uh, c and iron and the folic acid and many more which helps in uh, synthesis of blood and the blood count will uh, get boosted up right helps in uh, preventing uh, like you know problems like blood pressure diabetes and uh, lowers the bad cholesterol lowers the triglycerides it also gives relief to people who are suffering from uh, hiv right actually boosts uh, immunity system and uh, it also oxygenates keeps body oxygenated right so one uh, once body is uh, there's more oxygen in the body no disease can come to that such body so